Moving on to part C of question two, um, it introduces you to a topic called mid-range. It's not something we covered in class. This kind of has like a uh, question six feel to it. It's not that in-depth, but it is kind of expanding your knowledge. But what they said is the mid-range is basically the average of the minimum of the sample and the maximum of the sample. So the biggest value and the smallest value, add them together, divide by two, that's your mid-range. So the first question it says is for this data set, hey, here's our list of all these home values. We took a sample. Here's the smallest value, $34,000. Here's the largest value, $1,084,000. What we want to find is the mid-range. The mid-range is their average. Their average is $559,000. Um, part two of this question says, why would mid-range be um, an advantage over uh, mean? And the, the one reason that jumped to mind right away is mid-range is easy to calculate. I mean, it's big number plus little number divided by two. It's an addition and a multiplication. So we add two numbers, we divide by a number. Whereas with mean, we'd have to add up all 40 data values, divide by 40. Um, so it's a little bit more complicated. That would be my best way to explain it. Um, if you came up with other valid reasons, you could check with me and I could let you know whether those would work as well.